Hello, lovely people. Nicole here. I am staying at a friend's house in Southern California, and they actually have their own little vineyard right here on their property. And I thought it would be really neat to show you how to grow grapes the right way. It is a particularly interesting time of year to be here because these vines are just waking up from their winter slumber. In a few days, these will be reaching up and growing tendrils that will grab onto these wires and lift themselves up. And if we were here in the summertime, these wires would just be full of vines and leaves and eventually grapes hanging down. Now, when you prune grapevines, you actually prune them just before the spring. So these, these have just been newly cut. All of that old growth from last summer has been cut away to allow for the new growth. These vines are called Tempranillo, which is a Spanish variety, um, traditionally used for blending in wine. So these are not table grapes. Their skins are a bit too thick and chewy. You don't want to really eat these. What is wonderful about this variety is that the clue to their ripening stage is in their name. So the word Temprano in Spanish means early and Tempranillo is an early ripening variety. So these grapes will ripen before a lot of other varieties that are typically grown for wine. But what I really would love to show you is, is the structure and also how they water these vines, which is an incredibly sustainable way of watering a vineyard. So as you can see the structure here, we've got um, main wooden posts going throughout with these metal posts that are kind of the guides for the wires. They have a little notch here uh, that you feed the wire into and it gets into the hole and, it, and it's nice and sturdy right? The trunks of the vines come up and they're, they've got little uh, kind of poles attached to just sort of train them on where they should go. And then they've been trained to go each way. Now, what I love about this particular vineyard is that this water all comes from water caught by the gutters of the house. So the gutters are feeding the water into a cistern and that main barrel has a pipe that feeds under the ground and comes up at the beginning of each one of these rows and then runs along this black water pipe. And this black water pipe has at each stem, nearly each stem, a spout at each basically root base so that the water is not being wasted and it's not being overwatered, it is just pinpoint precision watering. In a drought prone area such as this, they are not depleting the water table. And that's why I find this such an inspirational way to grow your own grapes.